Welcome to our Five on Five. We're pleased to be joined by Taylor Grimes, the owner of Rogue Jet Boat Adventures. Taylor, good to see you. How are you today? Good to see you too, Craig. Thanks. Thanks for coming in. So let's talk about uh, where do you operate Rogue Jet Boat Adventures and how long have you been doing this? Well, gosh, Rogue Jet Boat Adventures, we're going into our fifth season now, um, mm. focusing on the Native American and early settler history of the Table Rock area. Okay. And, um, and uh, this year, as well as last year, we ran out of Tuval State Park. Um, uh, this year is actually under contract with the state of Oregon uh, through Salem under a pilot project just to uh, make sure that it's an absolute perfect fit uh, for both organizations. So um, we've, uh, we've led by example and worked really hard the last four years mm -hmm. um, just trying to showcase uh, the absolute beauty that we have here in the Table Rock region, but also uh, the Native American and early settler history locations. Uh, we just have uh, an amazing um, amount of rich mm -hmm. history in that area. And so when we can combine that with uh, thrilling jet boating mm -hmm. and, uh, and teach people, um, that's what we call our tours, our discovery tours, okay. um, it sort of fit. Uh, the yeah. state's motto with the state parks is history and discovery. And so we just found that it, it, uh, it worked. And so, so far mm -hmm. it's worked and we hope it, uh, it, hope it continues to work. Arguably, uh, we've been described as uh, one of Oregon's top cultural historical attractions so um, mm. we're making pretty good strides. All right Taylor so tell us about you obviously as you mentioned you're operating at Tuval it's a state park um, dealing with the state and, and kind of getting permission I gotta imagine that's a long process to go through and and you had to get a lot of people signing off on, on this thing. Well we absolutely did um, and that stems from our belief in what we're doing and so we knew uh, this particular stretch of river we run um, just under 30 miles of river underneath table rocks and mm. so you're on the water for two two and a half hours depending on uh, river traffic which is very light in that section mm -hmm. um, we had to go to them with uh, a foundation uh, with an existing business and a track record and so um, we've led by example and that's uh, what our mission statement has been this entire time mm -hmm. is to bring this uh, attraction to Jackson County and do it right. And, and that's why we're working with the state because we do want to do this right. Um, we could do the same thing running out of, a, uh, running out of the regular boat ramps. Mm -hmm. uh, we could do the same thing accessing people on uh, uh, state land through, through private land. And mm -hmm. it's just not the right way to do it. The right way is to bring this attraction to Jackson County in the right way. Yeah. And, um, and I think that both the state uh, and our organization believes that that can be the case. Yeah. Very exciting. All right, very good. Well, we're going to take a quick break. We'll have much more in a moment. Stay with us. Welcome back to our Five on Five. Again, we're here with Taylor Grimes, the owner of Rogue Jet Boat Adventures. So, Taylor, let's talk about uh, you're running the stretch of, of, is it the Upper Rogue? Is it the Lower Rogue? It would be considered the Upper Rogue. Okay, yeah. all right, very cool. Right there by the Table Rocks. Uh, have some have any property owners expressed concern about the operations of boats on the water? They're probably not used to this. I believe you said there was uh, it's it's a not very traveled stretch. Yeah, interestingly enough, you know, it's it's been protected by um, by a certain rapid that doesn't allow a lot of river traffic. There are some river traffic users. We we describe it as a river that has uh, more there's more air traffic going into the Medford Airport than there is on this section of river. And, and that's truly the case over the last five years that we've done this. But, but the reality of it is, you know, we have found out that th there are a few uh, residential owners, which are very few residential owners on that stretch of the river, believe it or not. But, um, but there is some concern. And, and I think the concerns stem from, from the standpoint of erosion and, and stuff like that. And at the, at the end of the day, I think it's really important for everybody out there to understand that um, this isn't about erosion at all. Um, this is about um, our organization now being described as one of the top attractions uh, in Oregon to go do, and it's right here in Jackson County, mm -hmm. and the growth potential. And so, you know, we, again, and I use this term a lot with organization, leading by example, mm -hmm. we understand that those concerns can exist, and uh, that's why we want to work with the state and do it right. We want to get mm -hmm. the concession in there. We want to get a full rounded organization going. Uh, there's no reason for 10 boats to be going up and down the river in front of people's houses. There's just no reason for it. Mm -hmm. um, quality attraction, we charge a good price, mm -hmm. and, um, and we educate as many people as possible. And so uh, really we believe that that's the case, is that, you mm -hmm. know, um, We've taken probably 40 to 50 percent of all the residents on the river on our tours, mm -hmm. on our sex stress yeah. river. But with that said, um, you know, concerns would be probably how many boats are going to be coming up here a day and how many trips and so on and so mm -hmm. forth. So, okay. um, but we'll, we'll address that when we, 
Well, we yeah. have to. Okay, very good. So if people want to find out more about pricing, when they can go, all that kind of stuff, what, what's the website? RogueJetAdventures.com. Um, and then uh, Facebook, just search Rogue Jet Boat Adventures, and you'll see all the followers, the reviews. Um, and uh, we'd love to see you this summer. Very good. Great to meet you. Thanks, <laughs> Thanks. for coming in. Appreciate Thanks, it. Stay with us. We'll be right back.